Hello, good morning, and welcome to this video tutorial on how you can recover your FET tokens from the staking.fetch.ai site in the instance where you did not migrate them off of this site prior to Fetch AI moving to its mainnet and launching its mainnet. So before I get into any of the financial and token based information here. This content is for informational purposes only. You should not construe any such information or other material as legal, tax, investment, financial, or other device. Nothing contained on my site constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, endorsement, or offer by myself or any third party to buy or sell any other tokens or cryptocurrency or any other financial instruments. And all of this content is for entertainment purposes only. So with that out of the way, let's get back to the topic at hand. And that is you staked some of your Fetch AI tokens here at the staking.fetch.ai website a few months back, and then they launched their mainnet. And so what ended up happening is exactly what you see right here. It showed that everything was locked. You were unable to remove, unstake, withdraw, or do anything. And so this caused a lot of concern with a number of people. Some people reached out to me. And so this is really the catalyst behind this video as to how you can get your FET tokens off of this site and into the Fetch AI wallet browser extension. And then I'm gonna show you how to put it into the Cosmo Station wallet. And it's actually very, very simple. And you might be thinking, well, hold on a second. When I go to transfer from the browser wallet extension into the Cosmo station, is this gonna cost me a bunch of gas fees and Ethereum? The answer is no. So let's go ahead and talk about what needs to be done. So if your tokens are here and they show like this being locked up, just like mine do, remember this is really not an accurate representation um, of what is going on right now. So again, this all kind of shut down when Fetch AI went to its main net. And so there's a staking migration guide here. And it's simply uh, on the medium.com site, if you were to Google, I'll put the link to this down in the description below. And this talks about how you're going to do the migration, right? So you're gonna download the Fetch AI wallet that is powered by Kepler. And this is exactly what I did. And I migrated my MetaMask private key. Now, again, you might see that and say, wait a second, no way am I gonna do that. And I get that. You might not want to use that private key. However, that is going to be how you achieve success here and get it into that Fetch AI wallet. And so you can see right here, I have the Fetch AI wallet browser plugin uh, and it shows my balance is zero because again i just recently moved it over to the cosmo station app wallet and i will talk about that that's why i have my phone displayed here on the left and i'm going to be pulling that app up in a second so you basically walk through this process and again the link will be down below and this is going to pull in and they show here this Andromeda test FET. This is actually not what you're going to see or not what I saw. What I saw was the Fetch Hub. You can see they've got the Andromeda uh, and there is no test FET here. There never was, that it never showed up there. It showed up here, right? So once I walked through all of these steps that are on this Medium article here, my FET tokens were in my browser extension wallet. Now, you might be saying, okay, well, that doesn't do me any good because I'm not able to stake in the browser extension wallet. And yes, that would be true. So once you've gotten your tokens off of the staking.fetch.ai site using this staking migration guide, and it didn't happen instantaneously, it did take a few minutes for the FET tokens to show up here under Fetch Hub in the Fetch web browser extension wallet. So once the FET tokens show up in the wallet, you'll notice you've got this 
fetch address here. And this is where a number of people are also stuck right now, which is they've got the tokens into the wallet and they're like, well, I, if I, what if I want to get them to Coinbase? How do I do that? Right? Well, Coinbase isn't actually uh, paying a premium right now in terms of staking. And that's where this Cosmo Station wallet comes into play. And it's actually much easier and much cheaper uh, to move them into the Cosmo Station wallet. So again, the drawback is, okay, yeah, you're going to have to download the Cosmo Station app and you're going to have another wallet. Uh, but again, it's a little bit more straightforward, a little bit easier, and it is inextricably linked to that Fetch AI mainnet. All right, so on your phone or on whatever mobile device it is you would like to put the Cosmos Station wallet. You can see there I have it. Now, when you first install this and you click on the Cosmos Station wallet, what's going to happen is it's going to ask you if you want to create a wallet, but then it specifically asks about the cryptocurrency that you wish to put into the wallet. And so if you scroll down a little bit, I believe, and again, I've already set the wallet up here so you don't see that, but if you, I think you should scroll down a little bit and it's like right there, you'll see Fetch AI, right? So as soon as you see that and you walk through the wallet setup process, it's going to have you pick a four-digit code plus a letter, and then you're going to have to write down uh, your 24-phrase pass phrase key, which you definitely want to write down somewhere and keep on a piece of paper, maybe in a safe. Uh, and then you're going to be set up and you're going to be ready to go. Now, this was all zeros when I started. And so literally all I did was click up here in the Cosmo Station wallet app on the fetch address that's up there. I clicked copy and you can see it says address copied there in the bottom. I then went into my Gmail, sent myself a, a Gmail email with that address for this Cosmo Station wallet. And then you literally do nothing other than come into the web browser extension. You would click on, whoops, you would click on send. It's going to open up a window. I, again, I don't have any FET here, but when you click on this, it's going to open up the window, very similar to what you see with MetaMask uh, and the Kepler wallet. You would put this address in as the address that you're sending to. I simply clicked on all tokens, right? I clicked on the balance and transferred the entire balance and cleaned the wallet out, as you can see. And the cost of this, it was literally infinitesimal. It was like 0.0000002 FET or something like that. It was really, really low. And again, you can see here <laughs> that the FET tokens I have, that this conspicuously are, are, you know, matches up with exactly what I had over here. Now it said 1809, but it was 188 that I got out of the wallet. Again, there were still some of my MetaMask wallet, so maybe that was the difference. But there are the 1,808 FET tokens that were, again, um, sort of presented as being locked up and lost. I've seen some Reddit discussions where individuals are saying that, oh, you've lost the money, it's gone, you can't get it out, and that is not the case. Again, you follow this staking migration guide. Link is down below. That is going to get it into your uh, web browser Fetch AI. It's really Kepler, but it's branded as Fetch AI uh, wallet extension. It would show up here. At least this is where it showed up for me. And once that happens, you can go ahead, get the Cosmo Station app, download that, create an account for Fetch AI. And I want to draw your attention to this right here. Staking. So whereas before on the Fetch website where it was sort of an ERC-20 Ethereum based kind of a contract thing that you, you were doing, uh, you weren't getting 20%. It was nowhere near 20.20%. So as you can see, by doing it with the Cosmo Station wallet, I am now staking... And again, let me, I'll show you how I did the delegation. Actually, I saved a couple there. You can see available is 108. Um, but I will go ahead and show you how I staked it once it transferred over. And it transferred over within 15 seconds from that web browser extension. It transferred into the Cosmo Station app within about 15 seconds. So then how did I end up staking it? Well, 
And so now that I've showed you how to get your FET tokens into the Cosmos Station wallet, you've got them here. You can see I've delegated 1700 of the 1808 because I wanted to leave some left over here to, to show you what I did, right? So really, in order to stake these and to earn this 20.20%, all you're going to do is click on delegate. That's going to bring you here. And again, I like how it shows you the rewards that you're earning sort of almost everywhere you go. Uh, and then I clicked on that. And that brings me to this screen here where if I was to click on delegate, you can see it says inner delegation amount. So the max delegate uh, delegable I was gonna say delegatable. The max delegable here is 108. Those are the 108 that I left over. And so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's just do 100, right? I'm gonna click on next. I don't have any memo that I'd like to enter. I'm just gonna simply click on next and take a look at this. That's my total transaction fee right there, right? So you've gotta to, got to love this. I will click on Next, and then I will confirm. It says if you delegate to the uh, to the delegator, I'm delegating to Cosmo Station. Uh, and again, it says when you undelegate, there's an unbonding period. You will not receive staking awards during this time. And so again, that unbonding period, I'm not clear on exactly. Oh, I'm sorry, not clear on exactly. Um, it's 21 days. Uh, but not clear on exactly what happens after that delegation. My assumption is that that just shows up in your available pool, that they're undelegated. And so now let's go ahead and get our pin entered in here. And I do not like the way, this is the one thing I'm not a fan of, is they move the numbers around. You'll notice that it's not a keypad. It's like the, it's, it's a keypad, but the numbers are all scrambled around the screen. So instead of being able, to, instead of being able to do it as if it was like a phone type thing where you could dial it on a phone, uh, you end up having to like actually stop, pause, and look and figure out what you're doing. All right, so uh, there it is. It showed my gas and the successful transfer. Let's click done. And if I go back now, we should see that the delegated amount is 1,800. Now, I left some FET available because the first time I went to do it, I was going to do the max amount. And then it brought up this warning message saying, be careful. If you do this, you'll have no available FET to pay any gas fees that you might incur. So I would not push all of your FET in there. I would keep some out. I'm going to keep, you know, 8.7 here, right? So I've got 1,800 FET delegated. You'll notice the staking reward right now shows 0 0.00099. If I just pull down on the Cosmo Station app, probably one of the coolest apps I've worked with here in a while. There it is, right? So, I mean, it's literally updating the staking rewards for you right there. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this video tutorial on hopefully helping you get your FET tokens off of the staking.fetch.ai website. Uh, if you've got MetaMask, this is going to be the easiest way to do it. Get that Fetch AI Kepler-based uh, web browser uh, extension wallet and follow the steps that are right here. Again, the steps to the staking migration guide are in the video below. And then it's really easy once they're in that web browser extension for Fetch AI, just push them over into the Cosmos Station wallet and 20.20% staking. All right, again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you out and enjoy the rest of your weekend.